Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a quick video to show you how to add a user, uh, specifically me, uh, if you're a client and you're using QuickBooks, uh, QBO, QuickBooks Online, um, this is a quick video to show you how to add a user. So hopefully you find this helpful and let's get to it. Okay, so hopefully you see the screen here and, and uh, I've already logged into, into QuickBooks and this screen, it doesn't really matter which screen you are in QuickBooks, I've selected over on the left-hand side, I've just the reports view. So if this is something new that you haven't seen, then maybe message me and we can do a video about um, where to find reports in QuickBooks. What we're going is up here in the top right-hand corner, there's the magic gear here highlighted. I'm gonna click on the gear and then once you click on the gear, now this is uh, hoping that you actually have admin rights for your own QBO. Um, you're going to go here to manage users. And what we're going to see is I'm actually already set up as the user, as the admin for this account for my client. Uh, however, most likely it's going to be you here. And you're going to go over here to the green button on the right hand side and select add a user. And then it's simply all you're going to do is you're going to add me, Dwayne Richards, and you're going to use my my Gmail account. Um, that's the one that's connected to QuickBooks for my business. So Dwayne Richards 72 at Gmail. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to select and most likely you'll have some other options. Uh, the main thing is a couple of different things is you can just to get started, you can give me view only access just to kind of get in and have a look. But once we're working together, um, setting me up as the um, as some kind of admin or assigning me as your accountant, um, signing me up as your accountant allows me to do some both view and some edit. So I'm able to do your book, your um, your bank reconciliations and, and HR, HST reporting. So um, hopefully you found this helpful. Again, like I said, it's a quick video just to show you how you can add a user to your QuickBooks account. So uh, again, uh, thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, it's okay to give it the thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just drop them down below. All right, have a beautiful day. Until we see you next time, bye for now.